Good afternoon, it's Jeff and we're in the bedroom and this afternoon I want to just want to show you these fillets here and the head and the frame and the wings of a beautiful coral trout. The second last fish I caught out at sea on this on the last on my last uh, four day fishing trip. I'm going to show you how we go about filleting this and you get virtually no waste. That's that's what I'm all about. We're just going to gut gill and fill with this coral trout. So I want to show all these spots. Beautiful colours. I'm thinking you might be about three kilos. So all you do is get your knife, a nice sharp knife, bring it in through there, pass the wings, put them over, put your knife up there, cut him through there. Separate that. Get the gills out. What I'm going to do is take all the scales off this fish while we're out in the boat. From the top to the bottom. Before I go any further, I just want to mention that the fish has been brain spiked and it's put straight into a slurry. So you can see it hasn't got any rigor mortis yet. That's how, how fresh the fish is. So we're at the end of our fishing trip and this is my second largest fish I caught. So we're just going to rinse him over the side. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> beautiful fish. Uh, I'll put him back in the slurry. Well, it's a beautiful coral trout, Jeff. Yeah. Isn't that magnificent? Yeah, just it over is. three kilos after I got it in. You can see, since I started the video, how it's stiffened up. Got rigor mortis beautifully. So, to fill it in, I've just got a, a little bone here. Going to run the knife in behind there. And then just carve around the backbone. Mm. You need a nice sharp knife for this, naturally. Nothing's going to get wasted here. So even if I leave a bit on the backbone, it won't matter that great deal. I'm just going to cut over the backbone. We've been called by the butcher bird by the sound of it. Mm, they've already been fed this morning. Uh, yes. What I do is just cut off these bones here. Mm -hmm. so you just cut across those bones and cut off there. And I'll do the same on the other side. I don't normally catch these. We, where we normally fish, we catch snapper and pearl perch and parrot and that sort of stuff. You just get the odd one of these in close. So we came in, came home last night and just anchored up close and caught this fish this morning. And then came in and unloaded our catch. And there's the fillets. Now, what I do is, now I've scaled all the head. I'm going to just separate the head from the backbone. Put that in the, in the freezer, in the bag, and have that with a curry. And just remove any of that blood and clean it up nice and clean. And with the frame, just remove the, the blood from, from the backbone and um, just turn it, break it in half, and then just freeze that get, to get ready to make a nice stop. 
And with the, the big fillet, you don't want your fish fillets to be too thick. So what I'll do is I'll cut them back on a bit of an angle. Like that. Okay, that's a nice piece of fish. And I'll do another one. Fun, isn't it? Yeah. it doesn't like us ignoring him, I don't think. <laughs> Cut that thing off the wing. Cut those off. Discard them. And what you do then is you've got your pin bones going there, so you just your nice boneless piece on that side of the pin bones and you've just got to get this piece and this end of thin, thin strips if you've got access to seawater you can best to rinse all this in seawater so what I'm going to do is just uh, clean up this, clean up the, uh, this bit of the stuff off from the ribs. And all you do now, now that I've cleaned that up, is just um, cut that into two pieces, I guess. You can even make that into three pieces. Yeah, it's a big piece. Just cut this bit of bit off here, off the bottom of the stomach. It can be could be a little bit sour. Yeah. Another piece there. You can see what uh, the brain spiking and slurry of the fish. You can see the fish is beautiful and firm, and that's what you want. Oh, it's quite now. I've fed the birds. Yeah, so I'll just cut this bit off. Now to rinse the fillets, I've made myself some, I didn't bring any sea water home, but I've got some fresh water and my sea salt here, and I've just made some sea water, I'm just going to rinse the fillets in that. Here's our finished product here, we've got this beautiful plate of fillets, it's quite heavy, uh, lovely fillets. Got the frame for a fish dock, got the head for a curry, We've got all the uh, ribs and the and the wings. That's which is the best part of the fish, I, I believe. And have a look in the sink. That's how much waste. That's how much waste there is. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.